All right, Stockmaster fans, finishing up this double Blu-ray here. We did Schizoid. Now it's time for X-Ray, also known as Hospital Massacre. Let's check it out. Our movie starts out in a nice residential neighborhood. There's a house. What goes on inside that house? Oh, it's Susan's house. 1961. Here's little Harry putting a Valentine's card in front of Susan's door. I think it's safe to say she's not impressed. From Harold? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Susie goes to get some cake, and when she comes back, her friend David is hung up on the coat rack. Oh, Harry. Did she get anything right? Fast forward to 1980. Little Susie's all grown up and to be this Barbie Benton. Right. Knock it off, Tom. Goodbye, darling. Bye, Mommy. Hospital where they had all that trouble last year? What trouble? Some patient ran a mug or something. Oh, oh please. Oh, I'll see you. Susan's minute. going there to get a quick checkup for this promotion she got at work. I guess she needs to see a doctor for some reason. Right away, she steps into an elevator with that guy. Oh, good lord. Meanwhile, on another floor of the hospital. <laughs> Susan was trapped in the elevator briefly while this was happening. Someone's killed her. She's inside. Hang me in the cabinet. Yeah. Oh, that guy's next. Well, somehow something happened and uh, Susan's medical charts got switched with somebody else. Probably wasn't an accident, but when the doctor sees this, he's like, this shit ain't right. So he wants to immediately examine her, which naturally means she has to take her top off so we see her gigantic breasts. They're impressive, but uh, unfortunately I can't show them to you here. With virtually no explanation, they stick her in a hospital room, give her a bed. And there's a bunch of crazies around. The elevator man eating a hamburger is apparently a drunk and he gets to wander the hospital drinking. This lady gets it in the lab. Was a quick death. Again, she's forced to stay in this room, and that's a crossdresser, I swear. Come the loony ladies. I believe 
that's uh, Barbie Benton's boyfriend. This is sick jokes. Actually, I may have been wrong about him, but he finds a body and then becomes a victim. Almost. And yes. Susan discovers a gift next to her bed. Not a great gift though, if you ask me. When the doctor comes, the gift box is empty. There's a ridiculous scene where she's uh, wandering the halls and she's hiding behind that, although you can clearly see her legs and her feet. But apparently our breathing killer cannot. Even when she drops her lighter, which makes a noise, which attracts the killer, he still somehow cannot see her legs, her feet, or the lighter, or hear any of the noise that she's making there. Virtually in plain sight. I guess he's very focused on staring straight ahead. Interesting scene. Eventually our killer catches her, and the big reveal. Somehow Susie's able to grab a knife and stab. And the chase is on. Our chase leads up to the roof and she's able to douse him in some flammable liquid and then start him on fire. Thank God she's a smoker. Yeah, I think that was her boyfriend whose head was in that box and it ends with uh, Reunited with her daughter the next day and uh, her ex-husband, I guess. All right, let's talk about the movie X-Ray, also known as Hospital Massacre. This is a movie that I've had taped in my collection for many, many years. I think I rented this originally from a place called Red Owl. It's a grocery store in Two Rivers, Wisconsin, probably back in 1986 or 87. I don't think I ever watched it back then, but I have seen it a few times over the years since then. It's a odd little film. It's Barbie Benton, who was a Playboy playmate. Actually, I think she was a girlfriend for Hugh Hefner for several years. Um, she made this movie, and um, she's a woman who's going into this hospital to get uh, some, uh, just a routine checkup done for some job that she got. She got promoted or something. Actually, before that actually happened, so uh, let's... let's rewind about 15, 20 years or so when she's a little kid. Uh, she received a Valentine's Day from this guy who was played by Billy Jacoby, I think. And uh, her and her brother uh, tore it up and had fun with it and made fun of the guy. So the guy then went in and killed her brother. Again, they were like nine years old or something when they did this. But So anyway, fast forward 15 years, she's going to the hospital for a checkup. And it's a routine thing, but somehow her, her uh, charts get switched. And she's... Uh, 
kind of let all over the place and people are the doctors are like really creepy to her and spooky and they're like not really telling her everything she needs to know and uh they end up telling her that she's got to stay for a while so she doesn't quite understand but she ends up uh having to submit to some sort of long examination where she was required to take off her top and she has pretty big boobs so that was kind of nice to see um and uh suddenly somebody starts killing people in the hospital they pick them off uh, one by one and uh she starts to get stalked and it's this is a really stupid scene where she's hiding behind this like uh almost i don't know what you call it some sort of little frame in the middle of the hallway she drops a lighter because she was smoking earlier in the hospital um and then she tries to pick it up with her foot and it's supposed to be tension filled and somehow the killer who's walking right by her doesn't see her i don't understand how that's even possible but that's what happened uh but anyway ultimately after several people die we find out that um harry Harold, uh, the kid from that she made fun of with the Valentine's Day when they were kids, is a doctor now, and he's the one who's been uh, killing everybody, and he's going after her. Uh, they fight. She ends up trying, uh, getting him uh, set on fire, and then he falls off the roof and dies, and that's how our movie ends. So anyway, that is it. That is X-Ray Hospital Massacre. Um, it's a it's a ridiculous film. Uh, it's uh, I don't know, but anyway, it was nice seeing Barbie Benton naked. That was kind of cool. There is a few decent gore scenes throughout this movie. Um, it's just weird. Whenever you see a movie, uh, a horror movie that takes place in hospitals, it's like there's no staff anywhere. I've been to hospitals, and there's usually people milling about everywhere. But in these rooms, there's like dark corridors, very few staff members. And, I don't know, it's just very strange. But anyway, that is it. So anyway, that's Hospital Massacre, also known as X-Ray. I think it actually appeared on cable in the early 80s under the title X-Ray. I had this Blu-ray here, which was put out by Scream Factory with uh, Schizoid, which I reviewed yesterday or earlier this week, actually. And uh, it's a pretty decent Blu-ray, actually. So check it out, X-Ray Hospital Massacre. Let me know what you think about it. Leave some comments and uh, let me know what you think. Watch it. Bye.